it wait until it goes. And yep. Then... All right. And then Brenda, let us know how the sound is. <laughs> Trying to do this. You can just fit it up. So you can Will it fit? It yep. Okay. Sorry, those of you looking at my fingers. I'm not doing this. Oh, you can't hear me. You want me to do it? Oh my God, I got a fat thing. All right, just hang on, everybody. There. You got it? I'm pretty sure I got it. There. Two around. I'm sorry, whoever's on. I'm sorry you're looking at my fingers. Lots of wiggling this morning. Yes, sorry. So how's the sound, Brenda? We doing good? There's a delay, so she can't hear it. Oh, we got the thumbs up. All right, good morning, friends. Welcome to our Thursday morning Facebook Live here at Town & Country Quilt Shop in Albion, New York. This is the last Facebook Live we're going to do in June. And also, just an announcement, we're going to take next week off because next Thursday is the 4th of July. So um, we're just going to sleep in and stay home. And um, I think we're having a crooked issue. I, I don't know how to fix I, it, though. Did you fix it? No, okay. but it's fine. Well, I'll just maybe stand like this. Sorry if I'm making anybody dizzy. Better. Better. Okay. So today is the 27th of June. Tomorrow is my 28th anniversary, wedding anniversary. We're going to celebrate by going to our last kid's graduation. So that ought to be fun. <laughs> my husband said, do you think they'll announce it? I'm like, yeah, let's see if they will. But of course not. Yeah. That would be embarrassing. Um, so anyway, happy anniversary to us tomorrow, and um, my older daughter, who many of you know, is coming home today, picking her up at the airport, so that'll be nice to have her home, and um, yeah, it's a great time of year, and we get to celebrate the 4th of July next week, which is why we're wearing these very velt <laughs> festive headbands, or what are they? Yeah, they're headbands. Yeah. Headgear, whatever. Okay, so another announcement I have, and I'm going to just do a little teaser so that you stay until the end, which I know I, I wouldn't be able to do very well, so thank you if you do. Um, we are having a sale. It's a really good sale for many of you in July, and Irene is going to announce that at the end of this broadcast, but the sale is going to be from July 1st until July last day of July, which is 31st, and we are excited, and it's going to be a great summertime thing, and we can't wait to tell you about it, but we will wait. Sorry, my watch is like going off. Okay, so classes. We do have some classes this summer, and I just wanted to share them with you. There are a few that have space left in them. First one we're going to talk about is this coneflower applique. This is a pattern from Patchabilities, and Linda Luther is going to teach this class on Saturday, August 10th, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. The cost for the class is $32, and it is possible that when you're done with this class, let me see if I'm, okay, maybe not all the way done with this by the end of class, but you will have a great start on it. It's a quilt as you go. So then once you get the applique pieces on, you just bind it and put a little hang, hanging buttons. sleeves on it and the buttons, yep. And this would be a great little um, thing for your home for summer, and you could definitely get it done this summer. She does. She's a great teacher of applique, too, which is sometimes intimidating. So that, we have that class. And we also have, if you don't want to take the class and you don't want to use our kit, we have the, just the pattern. I think there's only one left of these yeah. with the hanger that says bloom. And then we have the kits. Are there only two left of these? Yes. Only two left of these. And the kits have all of the fabric to make this exact same fabric and the hanger. So the kits are $35.99. And the pattern with the hanger is $27.39. So we have all opportunities to get this beautiful coneflower 
wall hanging on your wall. Yep, that's it. And then they're gone. And then we'll do a different one, which will be fun. So that is our cone flower applique class. Our next class that I want to talk about is also taught by Linda Luther. It is called Count Me In Project Bag, and she's going to be teaching this on Saturday, July 13th. I will be absent because we will be celebrating said daughter's graduation on that day, but it doesn't matter. You can do it without me. Um, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., and the cost for the class is $32. And I know we've shown this before, but there might be some new friends. So I just wanted to show this is it's called a project bag, and it's um, based on the idea of having something to carry maybe your cross stitch or um, hand applique or a small project in. It has room in there for that. But it really could be used for any number of things. You could use it for paperwork on a trip or for, I don't know, storing your bills before you pay them or yeah. pa storing patterns. Yeah, if you have certain patterns or even if you have a small, um, like the, uh, this would fit in here. You could bring this to class in one of these and all of your tools. So it's a great project. It's got a zipper and this sweet little zipper pull. I think we might have something like that here, but I'm not sure. So that is using um, honey and lavender, I think. This is using a mini charm pack. So if you're interested, I think there's two spots left, and this is $32 for that class. All right, and then the last class I wanted to talk about is a beginner Judy Niemeyer class. Going to be taught by, oop, the stickers just fell off. One of them. This is going to be taught by Barb Miller, and this is called Star Baby. We showed it last week, and we'll show it again. This is a great star, would make a great baby quilt. That's why it's called Star Baby. Um, you can do it in three to five colors. You don't have to use five, you could use three, but this is a great project. And that is two sessions, I think. Yep, July 20th and August 24th. And there are two spots left on that. This class is going to be $64. And you can either sign up on the website or come in the shop and sign up. And if you sign up on the website, we will email you class supplies. If you sign up at the shop, obviously, we will have a paper for you. Um, and speaking of the website, I didn't announce what the website is. so. If we have some new friends, the website is www.townandcountryquiltshop.com. And if you're interested in seeing any of these items that we have, you just need to click on the Facebook Live tab, and we've got all of them right there at the ready for you to look at, see how much they are, decide whether you want them. You can purchase them online, or you can come in the shop and purchase them. Up to you. All right, so I also, so we're not going to do the back and forth today like we normally do because Irene has a demo for you. So I thought that I would say my stuff and then get out of the way so that she can do the demo and I can hold the camera. But um, I did want to show you, we have some new, a new sort of, sort of new to us line of um, fabrics. And it is a Moda line. And it is called Primitive Muslin. And we started out with it because they really went well with the um, American Gatherings fabric that we had a couple months ago was new. And so we got two reds. This one is, I think it's just, oh, I don't have my glasses. This is just plain old red. These coming across a little bit brighter. Is it? On the, on the camera than it actually is. It's a little more muted, but it's very pretty. So these are all going to be $12.99. This is our regular old red. And this is dark red. Barely. Yeah. Also much darker than it's reading on. The dark spots you see on the fabric is actually what the background is. And those spots are a little bit darker. Let me see if so I move it up. you can see how it almost looks like a marble. It's a great blender. I just love these. It's still coming across. So if you're looking for darker red, these are your, That's a good one. These are your answers. This one is navy. 
That's got a little modeling too. It almost looks like it's been um, hand dyed, but it's not. It's just a photo print. And then this one is called Rust. So this is a nice, it really is the color of rust, rusty looking orange. Again, the little yep, and we will be ordering these in um, on the regular, but we just wanted to let you know that these are going to be part of our blender collection in case you're looking for something to sort of tone down whatever you're working on or be a calm spot. So those are called primitive muslins. You can find those on the website. And we just have a few right now, but we'll be building our collection. All right, so this is one thing that's new. Another thing that's relatively new, kind of new, it's, it's not new, but it is new, um, is Linda put together this beautiful pillow. I can picture this on a porch swing, like for the 4th of July, or really all the summer holidays are somewhat patriotic. Um, so we have this sample in the store, and now we have kits. So Linda put these together yesterday. This is called a five-star pillow kit. Super quick. You could probably make it in an afternoon. And I think she used a, yep, she just envelope used back. an yep, envelope back and then a pillow form. So it works well with a pillow form. This kit is going to be $23.99. I don't even know if you can buy a throw pillar pillow for that. So this is a great product and a great opportunity to have a nice little summer project, especially if it gets hot out and you want to just stay in. So it's an 18 inch. Yep. That's what I have some idea. Yep. An 18 inch. Now, I was always told when I was making that you bought the form two inches shorter than your hmm. pillow. I don't know if it has worked, but I don't know if it has worked. Hmm. Good tip. All right, what else? Okay, so going along with the patriotic kit theme, we have also made these. Can you see that at all on the camera? Yeah, we hold it up. Okay. So this is a kit for the My Hero pattern. And this was one of those things that we had you all vote on. So we showed this a few, several weeks ago. This is the panel. I'm working on a sample. Hey, Brenda's <laughs> working on a sample. Yeah. Of the kit. Yeah. <coughs> and we asked you to vote between two different patterns. And this is the one that won. Looks like this. Has a piece border. So this would be a great, um, maybe a gift for a veteran in your life. Maybe someone's come home from a deployment and you want to celebrate that. Yeah, it's very patriotic. And we also have just the panel and some of the fabric left too. So um, this kit is going to be $124.99. And that's a good size wall hanging. Could even be a lap quilt, actually. Yeah. Yeah. 65 by 89. Oh, yeah, that's a great lap quilt. So, Brenda, are we getting any questions? Nope. Nope. Not yet. Nobody's inquiring. All right. So, what else did I. Oh. Here we... Inquiring minds don't want to know. <laughs> can you go grab yes, I can. the Chelsea Garden half pack? It's brand new. It should be like. Easy to find. Chelsea Garden is that new line that has the floral paisleys. I forgot to bring it out. My little girl's line? Yes. Irene is bringing it. Um, Linda and I were talking yesterday, and she made these yesterday. She was busy yesterday. Yes, she was. When wow. I came in, she was working like a dog. Um, so these we have had before, but none of you have seen them because we took them to the show in um, Rochester, and we brought none home because everybody bought them. So... She put more together. There is a sample made with these up on the wall here. I think it's miles of tiles. So um, if you have been eyeing that sample and wondered about the half pack, here's a half pack. If you do not know what on earth a half pack is, I'm going to tell you. So a half pack is a package, looks like this, has this sticker. And it is five half yard cuts 
of coordinating fabrics that we curate from our shop. And what you can do with those is there are nine or 10 different patterns. One of them is a tote and the rest are lap size quilts. And when you buy one of these, you get the pattern for free. We have samples up on the wall here. We would show them, but they're up on the wall. So, um, and we don't get up on the ladder that high. So <laughs> we have to wait for my and husband we, and he doesn't want to come every day to do that. We don't want to make you dizzy by walking out there. Right. So those are the half pack. Sometime we'll do that, but not today. Those are the half pack quilts, and then um, these are the half packs. We also have photos on the on the website, so if you want to take a look there, it's under the tab entitled half pack. So this is the newest. It's called Chelsea Garden, and it is lovely, beautiful, amazing. So um, there's that, and that's new. All right, I have gotten through all of my new stuff. And I'm going to turn the attention over to Irene. And we are trying to incorporate demos as much as possible so that we can give you a little opportunity to learn about some of the tools that we have here or some of the whatever. And Irene is the queen of demos. So she is going to be joining us. And she is going to share the Studio 180 tool called the V-Block, which you're seeing a little bit of behind me. So. Without further ado, Irene, you are on. All right, I'm going to start over here, but then I'm going to come here so they can see what I'm doing better. Um, um, hi, everybody. How are we doing? Um, on this lovely, lovely, lovely June day, it's not raining. It's not hot. We're in good shape. So I don't know what just felt, but it's all good. Um, as you all know, well, those of you who know me know I am a um, Studio 180 certified instructor. I went to the reunion and had a wonderful time, um, met some new friends, reconnected with some old friends, and actually did a couple new techniques, which I can't wait to, to share with you, maybe another day. But um, one of them's not even released yet. So behind me, you will see a quilt top that's not finished. You can't tell because it's not in the picture, thank heavens. I still have borders to put on. There's three borders that go on this. Um, this is called Crisscross. It is designed by Carla Alexiuk, and she is actually coming to Maine to, have, to teach this and another quilt, which I will show you when I get it done. Um, I'm her assistant. I'm so excited. She's a fabulous designer. Um, using Studio 180 tools. She is coming to teach this and another one, and you pick which one you want to do. I would consider this more of a beginner one because it has beginner qualities to it, and then the other one is a little more advanced. So the quality, the reason this is hanging here is because we are demoing V-Block. I am demoing V-Block. And all of these star points, Okay, our V block, all of them. Um, it makes it very striking. Okay, V block is also a really good quilt to, uh, or a really good unit to give the appearance of curved piecing. It doesn't in this one because of the way they're positioned. But down the road, I'll show you another one that makes it look like it's circular but it's not it's just it's straight pieces it's just with v-block v-block is one of what deb tucker calls her heavy hitters they show up in everything so tucker trimmer one wing clipper v-block that's what she considers her heavy hitters so and they're super easy to make so I'm going to go to the other side of the table so you can see the demo right side up instead of upside down. And Lord knows I can't cut upside down. So I'm coming. Here we go. All right. So as always, when you get a, a tool from Deb, okay, it comes with directions. Now they're usually about the size of the tool. They fold over or they slip right in here when they package. I'm getting old and I need to see it bigger. So you can go on her website and her website is listed on every tool. Okay, www.studio180design.net. 
not getting that very well. Okay, I didn't think you would. <laughs> um, glare so, and yeah, glare and acrylic. That a good combination. So um, on there, under free downloads, you don't pay for this. Under free downloads are all the instructions. Not the pretty green highlights. That's me. But um, but you can get them all this size, eight and a half by eleven. So they fit nicely in page protectors. I made the mistake of copying them all and um, laminating them. It's not really a mistake other than if you put them all in one book, it's too heavy to carry around. So I have since copied them and put them in page protectors and that's what I take to classes with me. I keep my laminated ones at home. So what we are going to do is we are gonna make a unit, a V block unit, as you can see, looks like that. So what we have to cut out is the center V's and the side triangles. Deb has done all the math for you. I don't want to show this for a long time because you should buy the tool. So just very briefly, this is the chart that tells you what you need to create whatever size you want. I usually go with 4-inch finished because in most quilts, those are 4-inch finished. That is what you use. But you could go smaller. You could do a one inch finish. That would be so adorable. And you could go up to a six inch finish. This is a six inch finish. And it makes a beautiful pattern. Okay. These are not. And I can't remember what size they are. This was a demo block I had to do to be accepted into the certified instructor program. So I put this block together and then you mail all your blocks in and they decide if you are going to be a certified instructor and then you go to training. So I am doing four inch. So what we're doing, it tells in my little chart that I need five inch, um, these things, five inch strips. I'll get it just a minute. All right. I spent the whole day in the kitchen yesterday. I'm a little discombobulated. All right. So. This is a cool thing. And again, Deb does all the math for you. She's amazing. You have your tool and you have where you cut out your pieces on this do you side. Wanna, do you want to lay that down here? It, will it show up better? Yeah. I, think I don't have a weight piece of paper. Oh, you, this is good though. You think I'd learn eventually. Um, so here's where you cut out first your center V's and your side triangles. So center triangles, side triangles. And this is where... The, the beauty of it is where you trim it up so it's perfect every time. Okay, I'm going to run through this fast. It is by no means meant that, you know, if you're interested, come see me. Okay, I am going to do one, one at a time. I usually cut two at a time, but I'm afraid it won't show up for you. So I'm going to lay out my, my strip. You will notice I need a V. I, I have a straight edge. So what I'm going to do, and it tells you this in the directions, is I'm going to fold it over for the first one only, okay? And then I'm going to find the correct line, which says fold line for center triangles. And I'm going to place that line here. Oh, look how good I folded that. Now, I don't normally fold it that well the first time. Usually I have way too much. I'm almost perfect. So I'm going to cut the first one. If you had two layers, you could fold them both over. I just didn't because you wouldn't be able to see that this is the wrong side and this is the right side. All right, so there's my first one. Let go. Now, I don't have to fold it anymore because I got a nice edge. But you'll notice it's going the wrong way. So we flip it over. You never flip over the ruler. You never should have the ruler backwards. You should always be able to read it. Okay. Here is the center triangle trim line. I run that right up the angle I just wrote, wrote, I just cut, and then I cut on the other side. And so forth. And you just keep going down your strip. Okay. Now we need side triangles. So, we're going to take another strip, and I'm going to use this little one because it's already cut off. So I do have a lot of, I miss my fatigue. I have too many strings. Strings drive me crazy. So we'll get rid of those. All right. I can cut these two at a time. 
because I need mirror images. So you cut them with either the wrong sides together, which is the way you cut them off the bolt, or the right sides together. Now I'm looking for side triangles, which is the solid line. The solid line is for side triangles. The other line was, was dotted. Okay, so the big fat solid line. I've lined it up. And I cut. That set will go there. Now, I'm at an angle. So what I do is I, and I always have to think this through first, I rotate it to the, to the size up line. But if you'll notice, there's a diagonal. There's a diagonal right up here and a little wedge. We need that little wedge because that's our quarter inch seam. So I'm going to line that little wedge up with the bottom of my strip and along that line. And now I'm going to cut. Maybe I'm at an angle here. So again, now my other set. And I just keep going for all the sets I need. Now it's important that you set these out. I'm going to do it this way just because it's easier for me. This way. Okay. So what, before you sew anything, line them up like that, because it is so easy to do this, and you think you're doing it right, but that is not a square, so you will do all that sewing for nothing. So always set them up first when you're doing shapes, just to get the idea. Now, you could stack them if you wanted to and just streamline it, but always set it up first. All right, now that's what I did with those. So, what I did is I, okay, pretend there's another one here. See, I almost grabbed the wrong one again. All right. I took this one and I pulled it over. And the directions will tell you to match point to point. Okay? It's kind of weird because you got extra hanging down here, but match point to point. And those of you who know me go, oh my God, she's got a pin. That's just because it has to travel. So, I don't normally pin. I'm a terrible pinner. Because, I'm, my gosh, I got a lot pinned. All right. Then, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Because this, I did not use a different colored thread. There's my quarter inch seam. Then, I just push it out. And if you're doing this in a pattern, it's always important to check the pressing directions. Naturally, we press out. But your pattern may say no, press in or press open. I will tell you that many of Deb's patterns are moving toward pressing open. Um, she said, you used to not press open for fear of um, the threads, it being hard on the threads, it being hard on the fat. But fabric is better now, and so is thread. So you can press open. Now, if you're pressing open, take your stitch count down. I use 2.2. If I'm not, I use 2.15 if I'm pressing open. Okay. Then I take the other one. And again, I'm going to match this point with that. And you can't see it because we want it to cross over. Okay. So now I'm going to stitch my quarter inch seam right down there. And I think I've got an example of that. Yeah, oh, see, I pinned it. Isn't that pretty? Um, and then I've got it stitched. Then I press out. Look how nice that is. All right. As always, this is too big. Always. That's, that's Deb's thing. It's always too big. So what we do... This is one that's already been pressed and stitched, but not trimmed. You can tell because of the dog ears. A lot of people get them done, and they're like, I don't know if I trim these or not. Well, you will, because when they're trimmed, they look like this. Dog ears tells me it's not trimmed. Okay, so that's a way to, to calculate it. All right, so now we're going to take our trim down section. And I, I'm going to flip this over. I want the point down. 
I know I'm going to end up with four inch finished. Okay? Let me move that. Four inch finished. So, what I want is I want that, and I don't know how well this is going to show up. I want that adorable little number four right at the point. It's good. It's good? Very good. Thank you. And you will see I have stuff to trim all around. You will notice that these lines go straight up along the seams of your block. So the old Deb Tucker up. Now, this brings up another point. Some people go this way, and I do half the time. The rest of the time I go this way. I might do it again because I got seams in there. You may ask why. If you have ever gone to trim something, jumped it, and cut yourself, or taken a chip off, then you might want to go this way, okay? Just because it's safer, and you're less likely to hurt yourself and your tool. Now I can roll, rotate it. I have four and a half inch lines here. They say four and a half here and four and a half here. I just cut these two so I can line those up perfectly. And my little X. Now that X isn't labeled anything. It's between the two and the two and a half. But a little X sits right in there. This is your quarter inch seam. You want to protect that at all costs because you do not want to cut off the nose of your V-block, okay? It's just like not cutting off the nose to the geese. She built in the quarter inch seam for you. There. And we have a perfect block. Now, obviously for that pattern on the wall, it took a lot of them. So I, as I said, I'm going to go back to the other side so I can talk to you. Um, as I said, I usually do it with it flipped over so I can cut a whole bunch at one time. And the same way with the side triangles. Okay. And if you're, um, I don't like the word hoarder. I think it has a terrible connotation after that TV show. But if you are a collector, you can save these and you can put them on something else because there's another pattern that can use these or you could make smaller ones using this as the wings and then use your thing to cut so that you don't waste them I hate wasting I hate wasting I don't know why I have a ton of fabric but I just can't waste all right so if you are interested in the black um, we have them here and you can come in and see me if you need more better demonstration you can see me or Deb has videos on her website it's actually on YouTube but you can connect from her website of every single tool she makes and many of the technique sheets which we're going to cover a couple of those later in in July so um, so yeah, V-block. I love this one. This one and we also, there's also a corner beam. They look very similar. Deb calls them cousins. The shape of the ruler is very similar, but the, the end product's a little different. So do we have any questions, Miss Brenda? No? Okay. Item of the month. Oh, let me go get it. She's talk going. about something else. Okay, I'll talk about something else. Um, um, as I said, this is made primarily the only tool on here is V-block, okay? It may look like there's other tools, but there's not. They're all V-block. And um, you can get these exact fabrics from Carla, or we can get it for you. And if you're interested, or you can come to Maine with us and make it there. It would be so much fun. And we do have spots open. So... Um, if you're really into sewing, Carla is, oh, I was going to write the dates down. It's in October. And then immediately after that is a UFO where you can work on whatever you want or finish this. So you could do both retreats if you wanted to stay in, stay in the beautiful Scudic park, which is part of Acadia, the quiet part, we call it. Um, it's, you walk down the, the, 
the driveway and there's the ocean. Or you walk down the path and there's the point where the ocean is. And um, it's gorgeous. It's just beautiful. And in, in October, whoo, leaf peeping season. It's beautiful. All right. Item of the month for June. Orophil. You will get 12 beautiful colors. And if you are into applique, I use these colors on my applique all the time. All the time. You can use them for piecing. You can, I use them for, I machine bind everything and I match my color to the fabric I'm binding with. So it works really, really well. So you would get all 12 and they're the bigger spools. Okay. They're not those little teeny tiny spools plus needles. And these needles are 80 12s. This is what I use all the time, all the time. And last week we discussed the fact that I learned I'm supposed to be changing my needle every eight hours of sewing for me that's a day so um i have lots of needles but you may not sew that much so um but these are handy these are schmetz it's what i use they're universal so they'll go on any machine and um there's 80 20 and there's one two three four five of them this pair this bundle should be 163.79 and for only a few more days it is 143.99 remember item of the month is prepay so you can go online or you get this cool case too i got a whole bunch of these um you can go online and pay order it and pay or you can stop in but you only have until friday right mm -hmm. yeah because the first is sunday no. I have no idea. The fourth <laughs> is Thursday. So, yeah, I think the first is Sunday. I don't know. I can't count. So, um, you, you're Sunday. Sunday. Thank you, Brenda. She, she saves us. I don't know. Um, so, <laughs> you, your time is running out if you're at all interested. This is a great way to get lots of colors. Okay. I love color. And this is just beautiful. I may have to order one of these. All right. So, that is the item of the month. Okay. Three, two, one. Correct? I don't need to do anything else. I'm asking the boss because I'm lost. I don't think anything. Right. All right. So, three, two, one. For those of you who don't know three, two, one, three, two, one is how we end every, try to end every Facebook Live. Number three is a fabric, which is $3 a yard. Two and one are items that we either only have two or one of, or just items that we have one of, and they are going away, hopefully. So, or in this case, it's a little different, but I'll explain that when you get to it. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, our three, you can tell I'm back because it's a batik. You know, I love my batik. Which I'll tell you the, yeah. okay. First, we'll do this. This is $3 a yard. There's approximately 10 and a half yards here. Isn't that pretty? It's got green. This is the reason you know I picked it out. It's got green and purplish blue, and then these beautiful orangey yellow twigs and leaves. I love this fabric. It's beautiful. Again, if you don't buy it, I will. Two. Two is Tahiti zippers. Goes with the fabric. So the story about that is I needed to order one of those for somebody. And I accidentally ordered 11 of them. So now we have a plethora of Tahiti zippers. And they are how long? They are, I believe they're 30 inch. Why does it not say so on here? 30 inch. That's yep. the circle right there. It says 30 inch. So they are great for bags. They are double. They go both ways, which sounds horrible. But um, they, so they zip one way and they... Zip the they other have, way. Do they have two pulls? Yep. yep. Two There's two right there. Pulls. Two zipper pulls right there. Yep. Um, great for Poppins bags, any bag. Any bag that's a big bag that needs a zipper and you want to be able to go in both directions, these are perfect. I love these zippers. And you don't have to use the, the whole 30 inches length. No, you can cut them off. Yeah. And many, many, many bag patterns, I wanted to say recipes, many bag patterns tell you to cut things off and then tell you what to do with them so that things don't fall off. 
Okay. So it could be two zippers, really. It could be, because you could have one zipper going in one direction and the other one going in the other. Well, it would be the same direction. But anyway, you know what I mean. So you could make this into two zippers if you wanted to for a small bag. That would be pretty. All right. These are regular $6.99, and they're on sale for $3.99. If you've ever bought zippers, they're expensive. So $3.99 for a 30-inch zipper or two 15s. Or, never mind, we won't go through all the mathematical possibilities. But, beautiful. And we have a number of them due to a technical error. And so, come in and get what you need. It's purple, best color. So, and it goes very nicely. Look at that. With this fabric. And I didn't Almost pick like this we fabric. Planned it. Yeah, you'd think I had. <laughs> all right, number one is an Alaska ruler. It, and we have the pattern to show what that. This like. is the Alaska quilt in rainbow. Boy, isn't that beautiful? Okay. And this is Adita Sitar. And she came out with a ruler that will that allow thing. you to do those shapes. Okay. We have one in stock. And it is regular $29.99. It is on sale for $15.99. That almost looks like, that one almost looks like what we were building today with the V-Box. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. It's very similar. It's wedges. Remember that. So, um, acrylic is extremely expensive. That's why these, this tiny little ruler was originally 30 bucks. Um, but this one is on sale. It has the blunt tip, which for some things is very, very helpful. Kind of gives you a concept of your quarter inch seam okay so we do have these in stock but these are not on sale this is on sale for $15.99 we have one when it's gone it's gone okay so let's reiterate three excuse me one is $15.99 the Alaska ruler two is zippers even though we have a few more than two but it is $3.99. Get it while you can. Get a, get a bunch of them. If purple's your color, get a bunch of them. And then three is this beautiful batik, which leads me to talking about our sale for July. The month of July is on batiks. We are offering 20%. No, we're not. What are we offering, Tara? On the paper. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, that's even better. It is buy three yards, get one free. That's better than 20%. So it doesn't have to be three of the same. And obviously, you wouldn't do this one because this is a $3 fabric. Don't do that. It could be three one-yard cuts from three different fabrics. Um, and whichever one, will one, one of the yards will be free. So if you're looking for backing and you like your batik, now is the time to do it. If you're looking for um, building your stash, this is a great time to do it. So the month of July, so it won't start until next Tuesday, but keep in mind we're not here on Thursday or Friday. We are here Saturday because I have classes and we have finish it up for my finish it up friends. Um, so. Starting Tuesday, buy three, get one yard free. Buy three yards, get one yard free. It does not have to be the same fabric, but it, they all three have to be batik. Okay, or two of one and one. Yeah, again, mathematical options. Okay, one yard minimum though. So you can't buy two and a half of one and half of the other. You don't want to do that. Okay, so one yard minimums, buy Three yards, get one free. Okay? All right. If there are no questions. We're, we're having some comments about Monday being the first, but I'm guessing you said Tuesday because we're not open on Monday. Exactly. Yep. See? I'm thinking. Also, I wanted to add that online, this, <coughs> this sale will be happening, but you will have to buy the same one. We won't be able to mix and match because of the way the settings work on the website. So... So if, if you're you doing it mix. online, you have to buy four yards of the same fabric 
yeah. and you would get one free. Okay, one yard free. But here, since we're human and we can function, hopefully, um, you can buy, you can mix and match as long as it's at least a yard of each one. Okay? All right. Anything else? Any other questions? No? no. We're good? Well, thank you, everyone who is watching, and to my friends, hello and goodbye. And um, to my new friends, come in and say hi. I'm here all day today. So, all right. We will, won't see you next week on live, but we'll be back the week after. So, see you then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.